Hi there guys and welcome back to another exciting episode of the Wild Wonders of Southern Africa. So in today's video I'm going to do a quick in-hand look at the Bushnell Trophy Cam HD E3. Now the last in-hand look I did for you guys was the Bushnell Trophy Cam HD, um, basically the newer model and that was this one and I love it. I just love it. I think all of the cameras I've worked with and all of the cameras I've had out in the bush this is by far my favorite and also the best quality one now going back to the E3 this one over here you guys can see that I modified a little bit but every cam as you probably have seen in some of my previous videos every Bushnell cam that I've worked with has got this little sort of strap holder here and it's big enough for this metal chain to go through and that's quite essential if you want to keep your camera safe especially from people taking it if you're putting it out on a trail that's used quite often by people but um, let's quickly have a look at the features here um, as you can see here it says basically it's got a one second recovery rate um, it's 0.3 second trigger speed and then it's a 720p HD recording video. So I'm basically just using my Bushnell for video recording. Um, then it's got 32 low glow infrared LEDs. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of cool features to it. If you open it up, very, very simple um, to use functionality. The uh, only thing is that this model, the E3, has got a smaller LED screen in the back here, whereas oh, the aggressor here has got a much larger screen, as you can see in the bottom of the old picture right there. So if you struggle to read and see, well, I think the, the other version is a little bit better, but Personally, I think if you want to have a larger success rate, you want to have more cameras out in the bush, right? Now, this one is much cheaper than any of your other uh, cameras on the market. And obviously, you just want to have functionality. So you want to set it either to video, to photo, set up your camera and place it out. The other one, this one is if you're putting it out on a specific species, specific spot. You want to go into detail uh, of how you set it up. Whereas this one, you put it out on a trail, it's a trail camera, and uh, yeah, I basically, I think the functionality of this one is, it's basic, but it's good. It's top of the range, and let's just quickly go into it. Let's see if the batteries are still okay. Yes, it is. <laughs> I haven't charged, you, well, I haven't replaced these batteries in a very very long time so battery life it's still showing two little stripes there it's fantastic so um, doing the setup you can do the the clock setup you press ok if you want to set the clock so let's set the clock up but when i was shooting this video it was still uh, nine minutes to two so that is the time now so this battery life is so fantastic it's actually keeping track of everything so i don't have to do and worry anything about that um, let's do that. Uh, let's, uh, let's see. Do we want to have uh, video mode? Let's say OK. Set for video mode. Uh, then set model size, image size, uh, HD pixels. That's what I want to choose the uh, best one. Uh, capture number of photos. Let's say one photo. Uh, video size. 120 uh, 1280 by 720 that's your standard video size it's nice it's a uh, landscape so i always put it on that uh, video length now this is where i think everyone wants to set it on as long as you can and i'm gonna put it on to 60 seconds okay just set Okay, and then next one, set mode intervals. Let's make it five seconds, I think is not too bad. Let's make it three seconds. Then you basically know that every three seconds, if there's movement, you'll get a new video. That's quite cool if there's like a pack of wild dogs running past your camera. You pick up the first one, 
takes a, a nice video clip and then you have a straddler in the back and you get that one as well. So yeah, let's make it three seconds. That's not a bad uh, one. Sensor auto le uh, sensor level. You can switch between auto, low, normal, and high. I think I'm gonna go with auto, automatic. That way I know that the camera is gonna do the work for me. Um, if it's low light, it's gonna know. If it's quite bright light, it's gonna know as well. So sensor wise, I'm gonna go with the automatic setting. Then camera mode. Let's keep it on 24 hours, that way it's much, much easier afterwards to see when the, the video or photo was taken. Right, then you can also format your SD card. I think after you've uh, gone through a few cycles with your uh, trail camera, I think it's very important that now and again you do format your card so that you don't have a lot of excess data and things on there, because even though you would cut and paste a lot of your video material or photo material, the SD card actually stores quite a lot of data so that you can recover it. But I think it's very important that you format your SD card, otherwise your SD card won't be able to perform at its optimal level. So then, timestamp, yes I want to have a timestamp on, that's always nice to see when the animals have gone past your trail cam. Uh, field scan, this one is set on off, but let's switch it up. Let's go to, uh, get it on on. Okay. Video sound, definitely. For YouTube, I think sound plays such a vital role. So let's pl uh, keep the sound on. Um, set mode default. Okay. No, I don't want to default mode. And then you can have the version of it here. And this version of this camera is the BS598B WN times 05232. So that's just the version number. There are so many versions of the Bushnell trail cams. It's scary. They've got a lot of cool products out there. All right, and then the clock we've set that. So we've gone through the whole setup. So it's as easy as that. Now, if you want to place it on, you basically just switch this button here upwards. And that now will have it on. So you'll see this little red light flickering. It's gonna go off a few times and then it's going to disappear. Now after a little while, if something would go past it, it's going to record. Now I don't know if it's recording or not because it's not showing it. I love that. Mainly because now that it's set up in the bush, if something would be walking past it and a red light goes off, it will alert the animal or a person to that. So I think this is a very, very cool setup guys. So yeah guys, this is the a quick first look let me just switch it off again so we'll save the batteries um, that's just a quick look and first look the in-hand review if you may of the trophy cam e3 so a very very cost efficient camera and I can urge everyone if you're just getting into trail camming this is the camera for you it is definitely one of my favorite cams and I only wish I had a couple of hundred more so uh, yeah guys um, Check out Bushnell's website. Um, Amazon also has quite a lot of uh, Bushnell trail cams, but yeah. Uh, might remind you guys about the cool Facebook group that we have, trail camming in Southern Africa. It's really, really awesome. A bunch of people having trail cams here in Southern Africa are sharing our video materials, sharing some facts and some hints and some tips with one another. So uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and share this with your friends. Also, uh, leave me a comment down below if you think this was a cool video and uh, give me a few hints and tips on how I can improve my videos. But yeah guys, that's it from me. I hope you have a fantastic week. That's it, bye for now.